Alrighty. <clears throat> so one thing I want to do We don't need this entire graph in here. We need like half the graph. We capture half of the graph. Um, edit transformation. Oh, no, that is the background again. I've seen Vinny Vine Sauce do this. I know it's possible. How do you? It's like just I need to crop it. How do you crop it? Um. I don't know. I don't see it. Let me look this up, actually. What's even on here? What are we looking at? Oh, that's the level damage table. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Okay, OBS. Cropping to capture. Command or Alt. Okay. Let's try it. Alt. Oh, there we go. Nice. Look at that. Now we actually have a functional graph. Look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Took that right there. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I wish I knew why it was only showing... Uh, I don't get it, man. It's only showing one graph. I've got three open. Why don't I just close this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so that will work for the interim. Uh, let's open up some things here. I think we're going to use, we're going to try a visual board tonight.
That is really loud. <laughs> I don't know if that's just naturally that loud. Um... Alright, turn that off. Oh, baby. I can't hear myself think. Alright, um, audio. Can we... Do that thing where we turn off where it pauses every time. Uh, pause, pause. There we go. There we go. One last thing to worry about. Okay, now how does this stop being so goddamn loud for me? Let's just turn it down on the computer. Good crunch, delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shit. All right. Um, let's go ahead and capture that. There she is. And then let's um use our new magic tricks here. Oh god. Get input lag, I think. Uh, gently, gently now, boys. There we go. We're at one quarter CPU, Captain. get all she can here. I'm actually gonna bring that to the menu.
desperately trying to keep things together. Um...
<sighs> Sorry about that. Tonight is not the best night for streaming. Got sick babies, possible COVID outbreak. The usual shit. My computer's running terribly tonight, too. It's kind of my fault. This thing's been on for uh, weeks, <laughs> I think. So it's probably got a few too many operations running in the back. I haven't even started entering any data yet. Just been struggling to get the damn thing working. I also got a, uh, a copyright strike, well not a strike, a claim on my uh, last stream, and I think Twitch tried to mute the music, which is really weird, I, I don't know, man. It's just game music. So it's really, really soft. Um, I don't know why, but all my videos come out ridiculously quiet. Okay, this is fucking ridiculous. Anyway, let's just start talking about the stream. Um, so we've got some things that we need to change. Um, so I'm going to take this off. So, items in battle. One of the things that I crunched is that we definitely need items in battle. We will not survive Brock otherwise. Um, okay. Do do. So, this we can strike out because we don't really need that. Just get rid of it. There we go. Um, let me get the graph back open and then we'll actually start in earnest. And I think we have to start over because, uh, no, maybe we don't. Where are we? Oh, no, we do. There we go. Cool. We've got everyone still. Excellent. Okay. So, basically, uh, it kind of looks like that I had done this one and then just forgot about it. That's actually not true uh, in the slightest. And what happened was uh, I've just been working on this uh, at my job. <coughs> I need to stop eating the trail mix. Um, I've been working on this uh, at my workplace because sometimes I would have downtime and I just got a piece of paper and started scribbling. Um, and I think I've parsed together a decent strategy for this fight. Uh, and it may actually require a reset. I don't know. We have to look at our resources we have left. Um... But the long and short of it is we had an initial strategy. It was to lower the attack of Geodude, then lower his defense, then poison him. Well, it turns out two of those three steps just aren't going to work. Um, the first huge problem... God, this piece of shit computer. Uh, the first big problem is that... Um, the main huge problem... Uh, is Geodude has Defense Girl. And if we didn't have items and we only had one Pokemon, Brock would win just by flipping a coin and letting that decide what move he was going to use. Eventually, he's going to get to 
uh, his sixth stage in defense, and then his defense goes from like a 29 to like 196 or something stupid. Um, well, that doesn't seem right. Hold on, let me do that math again. 116, I'm sorry. Um, but still, that's an insane amount of uh, defense we have to get through. And basically, by the rules of damage, uh, because we always have that plus two at the end of the divide 50 stage, um, we're guaranteed to at least most of the time unless we get a low RNG, do one point of damage to him. Um, we can possibly, there are a few things we could do, like we could tail whip and then tackle and maybe get two points of damage in on him early. Um, but if the longer the fight goes on, the more likely he's going to use a defense curl and the less likely we're going to be able to do any significant damage. So that simplifies a great many things. First off, all we really have to do is lower his attack. Six stages will bring him down from, uh, I think it's 24 to 6. And at that point, he can only ever do maybe three points of damage to us. Uh, and then after that, this piece of shit, I don't even know if this thing's working. Hold on, let me check the stream before I do anything else, because I'm not even sure if I'm actually talking. Check, 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 one, two. Check, 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 one, two. Okay, that actually sounds pretty good. Um, I actually need to bring myself down. Oh, OBS, please don't do this to me. Oh, the computer is failing. Check, check, check. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, so while waiting for... I don't know why my Excel sheets decided to stop responding, but it seems like it's permanently destroyed. Um, let's get back to it. Uh, okay, so we were talking about the strategy for Judo. Basically, our only option is to just bludgeon him until whatever amount of HP was, like 31 to 33, is gone. Um, and there's a few options we have for that, but the long and short of it is he's going to attrit us faster than we can beat him. But there is a way. 
and I don't actually see it on my team here, which is unfortunate. Let's actually go get him. So it's not any of these Pokemon. Charmander is important because he's going to be our Growler. Wait, what was that? There it is. Okay. Spiro is really important because this is actually how we're going to defeat uh, Brock. We need a Spiro with an attack of 12 or more to deal, I think it was like 2400 of the good damage or the good number. Um, the good number is basically your level times 2 divided by 5 plus 2 times the power of the attack. In this case, it's going to be struggle because we need to use struggle against uh, Onyx divided by Onyx's defense, which will be reduced down to 7, ideally. Or I think it's 17. No. It's 47 divided by 4. I think it is 17 or something like that. 12? Eleven, basically. Um, and then divide that by fifty plus two, and that will be uh, the total damage, give or take a uh, resistance, and then the RNG. So the good numbers are the level, power, strength, and we want that. That's usually a four-digit number. We need that to be twenty-four hundred. And we do actually hit that with a Spiro who will use Struggle. With a Spiro specifically with 12 attack or more. There we go, finally. Um, so that one is important. Radita is important. Uh, because he needs Tail Whip. This is how we're going to drop Rock. Uh, once we drop his... Uh, is the thing with Growl. Nidoran, both Nidorans and Weedle are not important in this fight. We don't need them for this. So we're actually going to put them back. And we're going to get the MVP, the key star of our strategy here. And you may be able to tell who it is by now. If it's not any of these, what does that leave? That's right, it's Metapod. Of all things, it's going to be Metapod. And it may not specifically be this Metapod. But, Metapod has a very important thing going on with him. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to grab a Brock. The Brock tab. Sheet's not responding again. Fantastic. Uh, let me grab my notes from work because they're on actual paper. Let's see if this is the right one. So we can hypothetically, and you know what? Let's just go ahead and test this theory really fast. And I'll tell you what I'm... Show you what I'm really doing here. Um, but we need to do something first, actually. Whoa, what the fuck just happened? Something just happened. So we actually need to get rid of all these hardens, because if all we do is harden the whole fight, Judo is eventually going to knock him out. The potions do I have? Ten potions, that should be good. So we need another Metapod. Uh, really quick epilepsy warning, don't watch this. Dizzy warning. <laughs> oh, Kakuna. Perfect. 
You know what's interesting is supposedly these aren't supposed to show up in blue, but here they are. Uh, and it's not just this iteration of blue, it's also... Um, uh, all versions of blue I've seen so far, they all show up and they're all usually level 4. Okay, uh, so we're going to... Is that not the... Uh, what did I switch that to? Is it right here? Yeah, here we go. So we're going to get rid of all but four of our hardens. And you might be wondering, why four? Well, let me double check, make sure it's four and not five. Here it is. Yep, four horns. Uh, and it's basically because when Geodude's attack has been reduced as far as it can go, which actually it doesn't actually need to be six stages, it only needs to be five, because at that point he's going to be doing the same amount of damage as if we did a sixth. Um, he's going to do two damage to Metapod. When we're at our fourth stage of defense. So, what that means is that he's basically hit the maximum amount, unless he gets a critical hit, which is super unlikely. I think it's like a 3% or less, maybe, that he's able to. Oops, too many. Well, I'm sure that'll be okay. After all, this is only a proof of concept. Um, then you know what we need to switch. Just in case, I don't really expect this to happen, but... We're gonna get rid of... Oh... Let's get rid of all but five. Because we only need five growls, really. And this is only really to uh, make sure that we have oh, of course it's a critical hit. There we go. Okay, so And you know, actually, this is kind of a step I've not really gotten to yet, but there is more than one Pokemon that can have 12 or more attack. Um, and I'll show you what I'm getting all this at from here in just a minute. I think Radita was another one. So yeah, let me, let me go ahead and show you what I'm looking at here. Um, so go to Opera, we go to the Pokemon Stat Calculator. We're actually going to go, not to the Stat Calculator, but the IV Calculator. This was the thing I wasn't really taking into account yet. So, let's go to Geodude. Let's kind of look at what the maximum for Geodude can be. And I kind of like, I would love to figure out where I can find this data on the exact stats for Brock's Pokemon, because I'm pretty sure they're all, like, fixed. Reasonably sure about that. Uh, Opera has not responded anymore. Fantastic, as always. Come on, baby. Not hit the chain. Should have had all this prepared ahead of time. 
<sighs> what a great stream so far. We've done nothing. Okay, I don't know why this isn't working. Anyway, Pokemon have IVs. That means there's a level or a stat range um, to what they initially learn. So we've got these here, 33, 17, 49, 24, and 13 for Onyx, and 31, 24, 29, 9, and 12 for Geodude. So... Don't remember where I'm going with this. Anyway, uh, if I reset this wrong, which I may have to, I'm not too sure just yet, but um, we may not actually use Spear at all. There's actually a better Pokemon that's a lot easier to find, and that's actually Ranito. Um, and Ranito really works here because he doubles as our uh, Tail Whip guy, too. Um, I don't think our particular brand of um we're just burning off these packs by the way there we go um I shouldn't be finding these I just realized that We only need to be finding Metapods. Or Cocoonies. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, we don't want that. <laughs> if it was five, maybe. We do actually still need a Pikachu. Because it's the only thing that has a special move. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, with Thundershock, we could really use that. But for right now, we're not worried about it. Stop crit, dude. I suppose this is all right for demonstration purposes, but. Um, we're actually going to try to catch this one. Come on, fucker. There we go. And I'm actually looking for specific stats. So this Metapod's okay. He's got a stat of 12. And that's alright. That means we're going to have to up our defense four times. Uh, but there's actually one better. And let's see if we caught it. Nope, it's another 12. But it does have 10 speed, which means actually that we're going to move first, and that's probably going to knock a turn off of when we can uh, start struggling. So that's also fine. But we're going to keep looking for a 13. If we have a 13 defense uh, Metapod, like we may have one here, Got one ball left. Are the cards? Um. Yes. Um. We may have enough defense that we only have to use a single harden. Another twelve. Well, this guy's identical to B. Dang, nab it. Okay. And it's actually fine that we have more than one. I'm going to do some little bit of sadistic things here. We're actually going to get them all to the point where they can struggle. Actually, did you get down all the way? We got five packs, so we need to get more of those. 
Let's get rid of those first. There we go. The more cocooners we have on our team, the better off we're going to be, actually. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to save B. And he's going to be our stall man. So the other nice thing about having a Metapod on your team is that you can swap. He's a really good pivot. Uh, especially for Onyx. Like, uh, say Onyx uses a Screech. You know, we don't really want our guys to get a Screech because that just makes them vulnerable to being taken out by Onyx. So what we can do, we can just switch out. You know, and that's going to get rid of the defense drop. Uh, same with Abide. If, uh, if Onyx has a Bide, all we have to do is swap. So Onyx really isn't the problem. It's Geodude that's really the issue. So actually, we're going to swap out to Charmander and see if our strategy is really going to work. Um, I have eight potions. I'm not really sure if that's going to be enough or not. We'll find out. We may have to sell a few things to get a couple more. We'll see. And let's actually make a safe state. So that we don't lose this. Alright, so this is like three weeks of careful planning here. And all of my planning, I should also state, god damn, that's a lot of damage. Um, has been going off the uh, careful, meticulous preparation that Brock is doing the exact thing he's doing right now. And for, what was it, 44 turns will be perpetually, okay, there we go, using Tackle. Okay. Hold on. So he used two. Spiro just used two. So we're going to use one more. And that should be enough. Okay. Time to switch. Let's go with this one. One of those actually had some extra HP, too, which is good. Not really something I calculated for, though. Good. He's doing three damage, exactly where we need him to be. Let's use a heart. Two damage. He's done. We're going to burn the last, and we're going to start struggling. So we're doing about three damage if so. Uh, let's try one more. Okay, three damage is kill range, so this is where we heal up. Slowly and surely, we're bringing him down. He's really cooperating with this. This is excellent. Do we dare? We've got a backup Metapod. We can always take it. Okay. Another potion. This is good. We're doing very well. We're doing super well. I'm so glad this is actually working.
Can we make it? And he's out of there. Yeah, baby. That's how you kill a Geodude with a fucking Metapod. A fucking Metapod was the linchpin. My grand scheme all came to fruition. All right. Yes, because we need, um, I think we need B. Because we need to use, yeah, so we're going to let B harden up a little bit here. And we're going to do that because... He needs to survive a couple turns so that we can heal up Charmander. Oh, beautiful. Wow, you're such a good Onyx. Uh, Spiro 2. Okay. So. Swap back in the Charmander. <laughs> yeah, all my calculations were entirely based on if uh, Brock went thermonuclear and attacked with Tackle every single stinking turn. And he would never do that. It would be like trillions to one chance. The odds just were never there. You know what? Let's bring him down all the way. I want to bring him down all the fucking way. Ooh, that was a crit. That's the other problem with Onyx. He can crit really easy. He's got super high base speed. Alright, last two tackle. Or, growls. Jesus Christ. Okay, we might be in a bit of a pickle here. Time to initiate the plan. Oh, <laughs> Okay, that's super good. Even with a screech, he's not doing anything. We're just gonna have to, like... Yeah, I may have had to reset there, because I wasn't supposed to lose Spiro. Uh, but it's okay. We're about to bring his defense to nothing. I think we want, who do we want, we want, who's still got cards left? He does, okay. So C is coming out now. It's fine. We'll do the exact same strategy. Because he can't do a goddamn thing now. The only thing he can do... Is screech at us. You know, let's try and conserve a little bit here. Let's actually use a real move. Switch back in. Okay. 
That's okay. Okay, we're actually going to take this time to do some potions. Oh, that was interesting. Since I hit him once. Okay. Alright. You use a screech, we're just gonna swap. Alright, last potion. I think we've got this at this point, because we've basically hit the point where we have more uh, HP than he does now. Oh yeah, we've got it. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. We're so close. Yep, you can buy it all you want now. You're done. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we beat Brock with a level 5 Charmander, a Spiro, a Rattata, and 3 Metapod. Beautiful. Ah. And you know the fucking fantastic part of that? That was the first attempt. That wasn't gathering data. That actually was gathering. That was just to test if my theory was functional. I wasn't even supposed to beat him yet. Ah. Okay. I'm taking a moment because this is actually profound achievement in my books. Like, this whole run, I don't care about the rest of this shit run. It's going to get so much easier here on out. That right there was the hard part, and it's done. Okay. So, before we do anything else, I'm going to make a save. Because we don't want that to pass us by. Um, let me double check how the stream works here. Oh, thank God. I had it for a second up on my phone. It was just showing, uh, I think it was the websites. <laughs> Oh, God. That scared me. Um, okay. Um, Jesus. I can't believe that actually happened. Okay, so let's, let's take a breath here. Cool off. And start thinking about Route 3. Because there's a lot to consider in Route 3. Um, so first off, we need that, then this, um, this is the only one I found that actually shows the, uh, positions of the trainers. Opera's still not working. I'll just pull it up on my phone. But there is a few mandatory trainers in here. 
Um, far fewer than you'd think, actually. Unnecessary. Um, but there's a couple we need to worry about, so we need to have a few things ready. Um, first off, we don't need all our metapods now. We're kind of good on those. Let's start thinking about our team. Uh, we're going to keep one metapod. We'll put B and C away. Okay, we do need Weedle. We're going to take Weedle along with us. Um... I think we're actually going to take... Well, no, wait. No, we do need mail because we need more leers than we do grouse. Okay. So, we're out of everything at this point. We have an antidote and TM-34. Uh, we could sell a TM-34 because we're still kind of out on whether or not we actually need... Uh, if we need anything. Uh, but we need to start winning a lot of battles. We need money. Uh, because we need potions to make it through Mount Moon. And more importantly, we need Pokeballs, because we have a lot of Pokemon to catch. Um, so there's going to be... Oh, shit. Shh, 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 shh. I'm hesitant to click on anything right now. Let's just start with, like, four balls. I guess one potion. Okay, so we'll do six balls. Okay. That should be fine. And then we're going to put Spiro in front. We're gonna sally forth. Oh, we never caught our fucking Pikachu. Fuck. I guess that's the first thing we need to do. We need a level 5 Pikachu. We actually need that pretty goddamn bad. Um this row. Hmm. I'm trying to think of who we should leave with. Not Spearow, that's a damn sure. I guess just Charmander. We'll be fine. You might be wondering, why am I making such a big deal about this? Ah, level 3, fuck. Supposedly there's level 5 in here somewhere. And if I can't find one, we might just go with a 3. Uh, it's because this is the only special... Um, using... Pokemon we're gonna get for a significant amount of time, like, till Route 25. Which is still a very, 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 very long way away. Okay. 
So basically the plan from here on out is as follows. We're going to get to a new area. We're going to catch as high a level Pokemon as we possibly can. And then we're going to use that Pokemon to cheese our way to the next area. And this is going to work right up until uh, Vermilion City where we can get a Doug Trio and coast from there forward until like Erica or whatever. Okay, next one, if it's a level 3, we take it. Okay, we're going to take it. It'll be fine. Watch, now that we have that, we're immediately going to catch or encounter a level 5. Why not? Okay. So, fuck. Don't want to be here. So, who are we going to deposit here? I think Raditha just gets to stay on based on how in, like important he was. So we're gonna probably gonna drop Nidoran off. Yeah, we don't. We're gonna withdraw Peach. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and cheese by looking at Route Three and the trainers we have to fight. I already know most of the Route Three of the four we're gonna fight are gonna be Bug Trainers, so Spiro is gonna be in the lead for those and just you know clear them out super fast for us uh one of them is a junior trainer i believe and i think he's got an ekans and something else but if he's got something um like a bird speaking of birds we can just avoid her completely who's in front <laughs> fuck it's charmander isn't it Oops, oh well. It doesn't really matter, it's a Caterpie. It'll be fine. Oh, come on. You... Oh, scroll, please. There we go. Okay. So, your youngster's got a Radita. And... Oh, I wish I had a better computer than this. Oh my god. Be amazing. Uh, an Ekans. Okay. Oh, that's a level 10. Holy shit. So you can kind of see why we need to start replacing our current team. Uh, there's only so far that your starting Pokemon will get you, and it's specifically here in Route 3. This not being a Nuzlocke, though, we can take a few liberties. Like letting people die. I forgot this. <laughs> Man, I am just crapping all over this. There we go. Oh, that junior trainer is going to be a real bitch, isn't he? We don't have anything good against him. Uh, we're going to just have to use the same tactics as we used on Brock, I think, honestly. We basically need to make it to that patch of grass there. I'm surprised I didn't poison. That would have been a perfect opportunity. Did I 
a guide for their preference on stream chat. Who knows, you may have outspeed that, or may get outsped by that Pokemon half your level, you never know. Always best to err on the side of caution. Hundo in the bank. All right. Um, Ekans worries me. Ekans knows rap. Fuck. This youngster may be the fucking run killer right here. I don't know. I don't think I have enough. How much money do I have? I have 189 bucks. I don't have enough. We're gonna drop Metapod off. Um, Cause we don't really need Metapod if we can't pivot. We can't pivot if we don't have any potions. So we're gonna take Interact Female. And we're going to lead. We're going to do the exact same strategy that we did. Yeah, we're going to do the exact same strategy we did with Brock. We're going to lower all the stats we can. And then... We are going to poison with Weedle. Weedle is now the linchpin of this Lynchian operation. Good God, he's 11. Yes, waste turns. Continue to do that. Okay. This really works, honestly. Problem is, I don't know if we're going to have enough Brawlers for Ekans. Which we shouldn't need that many, because he really doesn't know that many moves. Alright, that should be the last one. It's fuck. All right. That's all we got. Come on, poison. We've only got so many hits we can take here. Poison. You can do it, Weedle. I believe in you. Last chance, Weedle. You blew it. No. No, you now you blew it. No. Yes. <laughs> Keep it up. We really should be string shotting him, shouldn't we? I guess not. Damn.
It's so close. We're so close. Yes! Okay. Now the hard part. Ekans. Same strategy. Oh my god, really? That's fine. That's not what we want. Oh. Alright. It's all up to you now. And it's over. We just need a paralysis. That's all we need is a fuck. We're not going to get it. Alright, so some bad luck on that one. I don't really care about that hundred bucks that badly. Um... There's just no way around it. Let's look at this map. We have to beat that youngster. Yep, we gotta beat that youngster. And he's gonna fuck us, because I don't think... I don't think we have enough potions. Because again, we could do the same things we did with Brock. We're just missing Geodude right now. I'm sorry, not Geodude. Metapod. We just don't have enough health. And I really don't think... Pikachu, even though he, you know, he's the only one that's using special, his special stat. I don't think it really matters. If he was level five, it might be a big difference, but it might not actually. Uh, let me let my dog out. I'll be right back here.
Okay, so here's what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking we're going to take out Pikachu and Weedle. Uh, level 3 just doesn't seem to be doing enough, so let's actually swap out for Nidoran Male. We're going to take a Metapod, too. Oh, I forgot one. We'll try this. We'll see how this goes. Such bullshit. All right, so this obviously didn't work. Yeah, the run may be over here, honestly. We need potions. That's just what it comes down to. Because it really doesn't matter if we lower his stats. Because his base, like his critical hit chance is really high. So. I'm trying to think here. We either need good luck, in that he will do the correct sequence, like he will not attack so many times, he won't get any crits so many times, for us to get him all the way down with Growl. I don't know. I don't see a way out of this one. Like, all my solutions are in that fucking patch of grass right there. If we can get in that patch of grass, we can get a level 6 Pidgey. We can get a Jigglypuff. We can put things to sleep. We can make them miss. Finally. Like, my only status dealers are Pikachu and Weedle. And as you saw, they really didn't 
they weren't able to do much. So it's a whole ton, an absolute ton of luck. So obviously we don't need Metapod, he didn't do it. We can put him back. Let's take Weedle. I don't think we really need Metapod or Nidoran that much either. We are going to go back to where we need to. We just need potions and just. We have a single potion. I might just sell that TM. I think I will sell that TM because we don't really need it. Or maybe it's the answer. The big problem right now is we don't want to use any TMs because when we use TMs like, if we use a TM and teach, like, our Rata to bide or something stupid, yeah, we can use it to get through this one area, but as soon as I hit another area where I'm going to replace him, he's not going to be there anymore, and neither is bide. So what's the play here? What's the choice? The cell bide? And get a couple potions. Hope those potions get us through this area. This one fight, because it really is just this one fight that we're stuck on right now. Or... Can we use Bide? Or do we keep Bide? Until the very end of the game. Where we may need I don't know. Question is who? Not Pikachu, that's for sure. Not Radito. Charmander. Okay, and if this doesn't work, we reset. So we still need to drop his attack all the way. So that Charmander can at least survive using Abide. I think he's going to make it. No, he's not going to make it. Nope. Alright, that's that. Might as well go for broke, right? Because we haven't even fucking touched him yet. Jesus.
being very patient with us. <sighs> Maybe our other option is just to hit him. You know? Yeah. See, it really didn't matter. Like, Rata has shit special, and even now, like, this isn't doing anything. That was fucking close. I mean, I only have to get lucky once, really. Accurate, at least. All right, this time we're just going straight for bite. And it didn't matter because he got a crit. Fantastic. No way. Unbelievable. I don't know, man. Who would have thought a youngster would trip me up?
known for all the critical or all the quick attacks. So. What a fun RNG! Every single fucking move in crit or a quick attack. Let's try for at least two tail whips. Pretty sure we can survive two tail whips. Because now he's at half defense. Do what you will to me, I've already won. Alright, we're just going to use as many turns as Weedle has left to drop his speed. Which is one turn. <laughs> he had one turn left to live. Uh, poor guy. It didn't even matter in the end. Yeah, it's the ball game. We just don't have enough HP. That's the long and short of it. Alright. So I need to go comfy to sick, baby. We beat Brock. That's far more than I anticipated this fucking playthrough going through. Alright. So thank you for watching. Uh, this will be up later tonight. Can't believe we actually beat Brock. It's amazing to me. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you probably next week. Yeah, probably next week.